Something that I think is also unappreciated in that video is the very something that we had to have. We got to film in a boardroom. Some friends of ours at the Behemoth helped us with uh, getting a boardroom to film the some of the uh, SEAL Team Six like conversation, whatever. And um, when we went there, we knew that the one way it would sell that it was a government building was they had to have a frame picture of Obama. And so we actually <laughs> called out for our merchandise guy. He was like across the country from us. Like he printed out a giant thing, and we, we had it framed it? like five minutes before the thing. Yeah, the yeah, go get it. Uh, but anyway, so you can barely see it, but it's like out of it's like out of focus behind me as I'm talking. But it does add to it. It actually makes it feel like oh, it's you know, it's like you're at the Here's CIA printed. headquarters or something like that. So here it is. It's the reason we're all broke, fellas. So, uh, so we're putting. So we're uh, we're filming this, and we're like, okay, let's take everything down. So we take that down. Uh, we're walking. We're nope. carrying all our gear to the car. We're we're ta- we're carrying all our gear to the car, and uh, Krista, Sean's sister Krista, was there that day, and she's like, "Oh, I'll help you." And she takes the framed photo of Obama. We walk out to the car, and I mean, there's ten feet from the door to the car. And within that 10 feet, she couldn't even make it, uh, a guy... I don't trust him. No, <laughs> it's not glass, um, it's plexi. The, uh, a guy uh, in a beanie and sunglasses goes, <laughs> that's, the reason why we're, that's the reason why I'm broke, you know? <laughs> right? Got no response out of us. Obama, you know? <laughs> That guy was going to be a billionaire. That's what we were saying. So <laughs> Before Obama got elected. He was on then, his way. <laughs> but then this fucker, well, that, he ruined it all for that guy. That guy you believe us, that? That guy was going to be the president. <laughs> that was... Isn't it Romney? That was Romney. And In then, disguise. And then <laughs> affirmative action, you know, got, got him. What's your favorite Obamination? Which is what Obama has done to... That's abominable. To... Well, to this nation. I call it an abomination. <laughs> it's neither positive or negative. It's both at the There's same gotta time. There's got to be a podcast called Abomination, which is just ripping on Obama. Gotta, <laughs> or praising. There has to be. Or praising. Yeah. Janine <laughs> Garofalo probably already it's does it. has got to be. What's my favorite Obama? Nothing. Obama didn't. <laughs> Why did you need Don't, Oh, oh you're you part of that group that me? says you got no change? Fucking tea party are here? What are we doing? Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go boil some more no, tea. Man. We got a one no. percenter in this house? Uh, uh, yeah, yes. He's Emmy nominated, so clearly. I'm Emmy nominated at 1%. I don't have anything for or against anybody who dislikes Obama, but the fact that this young girl could not walk 10 feet to her car... Without you having to fucking pop off, of it. like yeah. where were you pop when it, where were you when it was time to vote? Maybe hey, that was his pickup camera line. on me. Camera on me. Don't pop off to my sister. Yeah, that's fucking yeah. sick. That job, She's a take Christian, it. And would he get pissed? Uh, I think that uh, Obama's a, a lovely gentleman. Like he's hot. What's that mean? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that's supposed to be? I think he's attractive. I just, I, I'm sorry, Dallas. Did I ruin that? Say more. Say about the. Uh... I don't care what uh, what Obama does. It doesn't matter. Uh, and it doesn't. It shouldn't matter to you either because uh, don't worry. You have uh, you have running water that goes to your house, and you can take a shower, and uh, you have a roof over your head. Not by no, and, not by the end of his term. And, <laughs> and if you are on just a computer wait. right now, if you are on a computer right now. Uh, there you go. Look, you get to be on a computer. Uh, like, because there's other people who don't get to do any of that stuff, and they are forced to love. Yeah, and they're called enough. fucking noobs. It's that's just a, dumb. That's what they're called. Just wait. My texting plan went up last year. It's just dumb, man. It's just stupid. Just like saying, Obama, I didn't want that change. Obama was the first guy to ever do it wrong, or Obama was the first guy to screw us over. Like, yeah. If you're 15, but he's just the worst. You probably think that. But that, everyone, that guy, that since, guy in a beanie, everyone since John Adams has been screwing us over. For that guy in a beanie months. was going to be a fucking billionaire. Washington was good though in your book. No, number actually, one, okay, number two. You, you know what? On. No, Washington actually was. There's a reason Washington got out of politics. He could have been president till the day he died, but he didn't do it. King Washington. King Washington. Spoiler: That's a premise to the game, right? Stupid. We're, we're everybody like we're all fucked. Yeah, we are all fucked. We're all gonna die. Like, get used to it. You might die right now, tomorrow. Not me. Whoa, just, whoa. You know, like, whoa. it doesn't matter. Not like, me. Eric's gonna live forever, Dallas. It just doesn't matter. <laughs> he tells me every hey, fucking night. Before I read I go to bed. this uh, article about some um, new scientific technology that's being mastered, and what I read, 
I don't know if it's true. This is what the article said. Probably true. Wrap your brain around this. They had some mice whose lifespan was expected to be 21 days. Mm. Towards the last few days... Mice? Mice. Okay. Mice. Lab mice. Yeah. They inject stem cells into these mice and extended their life to 72 days. Fuck yeah. And they said with this technology, if it was developed for humans, that means at 80 years old, you could be injected with these stem cells and have your life extended to 200 years. Can well, we? Do, when can we start doing this? Would you... <laughs> I'll harvest a fetus right now for cells. Can you... You look you, at... Would you do it? Home tonight. If you were 80 years old, would you take another 120 Fuck years? Yes! yes. I would no. do it, and I would be the old man... From Prometheus. Yeah. Have you ever seen an 80 year old? They look like they're going to fall apart. Yeah, but then you take the stem cells in it. It's like. I'm going to get that shot tomorrow, so I'm going to be like this forever. I'm I'm like a vampire. Preventative, guys. Let's pay for it now and then save in the end. Well, that just brings us back to Obamacare, guys. I mean, it's never going to happen if we have to keep paying for it. Holy hell, you know, we can't. How are we going to get these shots? Privatize medical. You know, here's the deal I think that those mice were planted there by Obama to give us fake results. And they probably they're probably communist mice. Infowars.com. Chances are, you know, and then and then what's next? You're gonna take our guns? You already got that in the works. Obama. Don't drink the Kool Aid yeah. that Derek's serving. You already made the shrimp gay. <laughs> the shrimp gay. I think. Someone, are you reprising think, your Mega sixty four character? The Patriot. Yeah, yeah. it's a false flag operation. <laughs> Tell them, Alex. Hey, Jones. false flag hashtag guys. Hashtags are gonna change. It's the already world. there. Someone's doing it. I think someone injected their conversation with that life extending agent. <laughs> Listen, it's gonna go on for another two hundred years. Well, well, when you <laughs> good night, fuckers. I upset the I upset the chat. No, the Disneyland pimps. Who do I upset? Who's the Disneyland pimps? These two. Why did I upset you guys? Because uh, I tried to inspire like a real conversation about Just all of the crush. conversations tonight have turned into in character debates. I think yeah, it's except funny. for this couch. Yeah, I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't say I did or didn't do anything. I'm, a, I'm having fun happened. though. Is it not funny? I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> your real, your real conversation was: Would you be? Would you get a shot? Yeah, if you were 80 and you could live for another 150 years or something. Would you get that shot? Yeah, right. Okay, no, Garrett. What's your answer? Yes, yes, Sean. Yeah, uh, Rocco. Uh, no, I wouldn't. Derek. Yes, Obama. I would. Obama. Why Barack wouldn't Obama? you guys do it? Yes, because I said because if you were like. 80 year old like would the shot like make you younger or would you just it be probably maybe just it would, sustain you but let's assume it doesn't it just freezes you at 80 yeah I, no, you I, at I don't 80? want that yeah. like yeah. Mel Gibson and late for dinner <laughs> yeah oh, the opposite sorry, of forever young well here's forever the thing young. is I, you probably at that point will get some sort of cancer or something's gonna you're gonna die oh, eventually downer. anyways wow. but you just keep it going as long as you can oh, and see how see easy. how long you can write it out yeah I, that's not my plan I don't think that. I I don't, think wait, so, hold on. Yeah. I don't think that if you got cancer at eighty, and then they gave you the shot, you would just see how long you could ride it out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that. Just ride this no, cancer. I'm saying like, if I'm 120 and get cancer, it's like, well, here's the thing. I've had a good run. Let's see how far I can like stretch this thing out. It for. depends <laughs> on my quality of life at yeah, the time. At 80. Yeah, yeah. You If I'm still that. a spry 80 year old man because I've taken Let's care of myself, are. and I've. It's, Okay, say I've taken care of myself and I've used modern medicine and technology. You know the path you're on. Yeah, I think at 80. I know the path I'm on. I think at 80, I'm going to You're probably going to be healthier than me at 80. I'm going to say, yeah, I'm going to be. And uh, that shot. Yeah, you'll be good at 80. You'll be good. Another 20 years. Yeah, you're going to be fucking Well, I'm hoping hoping to download my whole conscious into some kind of uh, hybrid. Don't do that. That that doesn't make sense. Singularity, bro. Singularity. I'm waiting for it. Have you guys seen that documentary? Yeah, with Ray Kurzweil. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, dude, that's. We were at GDC when he spoke at the keynote. Oh, yeah, that's right. Ray yeah. Kurzweil, like that's one of the GDC. first game developers conference. Also, I found out, same article, driving cars have arrived. They drive Self, they drive yeah. Self-driving I've, cars. Well, cars they can, Google, Google, yeah, Google, they can yeah. uh, Google parallel made park one. on their own. Now they can they drive. drive on their own. That's crazy. This blind man took a self-driving car through a Taco Bell drive-thru. How do, so you get, what do you order? how do you feel about that? Fucking tacos. You got the you got the look. No, not about tacos. Locos. About the self-driving car. <laughs> the self-driving car. I think that a, a lot of people are going to die. It's going to hack. I don't want it to get hacked. You think a lot of people are going to die. A lot of people are going to die. Yeah. Not that the technology is going to be a fucking failure, but there's going to be some glitches and people will die while they work out the kinks. And when it's all worked out and it's completely safe. Driving will be the most boring thing you could possibly imagine. It's very pretty boring. But no, I love driving. On your I'm phone. Really on I wouldn't use a self-driving car because I enjoy driving I, so much. I, I, I would driving. if I never had to drive again. I would be the happiest man on earth. I hate driving. Wow. Like when I get pissed off, I'll just go drive and it yeah, relaxes man, me. Just like an '80s movie. There's yeah. times. There's times for it, but there's times where I'd like to just turn it on autopilot. 
You'll be able to do that. The car That's that they you showed, I don't think, it, I, had, it had three uh, three modes, like regular car and then guided autopilot or whatever, cruise control, and then full automation. So I want full auto. I want well, Autobot style. I was, Check it out. You were saying, like, what if it gets hacked? I totally agree with that. Like, that's true. Yeah, that's so yeah, scary, no, totally. man. That's but point. totally, yeah. I, that's a... That could be That could be tough. Like, everything... The cops, too. If you're driving a self-driving car and the cops think that you're doing something bad, they just shut you down. Yeah, because you, you know they'll try to pass something. Lock your doors right? and they'll just drive you into jail. And then you're... Oh my god! Whoa. That is Holy what's gonna fucking happen! Shit, what's gonna what? Happen. That's what's right. gonna happen? Fuck these cars! Yeah. They're gonna be like, don't let these cars happen! You know don't let the police drive you into jail! <laughs> There's gonna be a sensor that says, this motherfucker's on I 5 South going 75 miles an hour at 3 30 on a Sunday. Wow, that's very fucking specific. Lock his. Well, I do it routinely. <laughs> <laughs> lock those fucking doors down. Es- exit San Luis Obispo, take him right you know into the jail. Right jail. You're gonna think you're driving a car that's manual. And you find out when yeah. you break Whoa. the law that it's not, and they like the government overrides Hicks. your car. <laughs> Obama brother. takes your car over. Obama car. Know. The new Assassin's Creed is going to be <laughs> hacking people's cars and driving them into fucking trees. Didn't, wait, wait. It doesn't Ubisoft make Assassin's Creed? So like the yeah. happening? And Whoa. isn't Ubisoft it's making Watch Dogs the hacking game? That's probably the sequel. That's probably. It's a secret. You just hey, I like Electric Neon Panda in the chat. I like what he said. Uh, it was hashtag fucks. What was it? Fuck self driving cars. No. Yeah. Let's get that going. <laughs> I want to see that trending tonight. Uh, Trend it. I think that's so scary, man. No way. You know what? We should just get technology to where it was at in Back to the Future 2 and then just stop there. Well, he, you know, like, today's the, the day that he went to yeah, the future. There, huh? you, you know, today's the today day. Today is the day. That he went to. Isn't there always debates about that? <laughs> no, no, yeah. no it's debate. It's every today. Every two day. weeks Bro. on fucking Facebook, everyone, yeah. oh shit, today is the day. Yeah, my aunt Dolly. But sent today's me the, day. the real. But no, day. really, I swear to God, guys, <laughs> the date has never changed. Wait, it's it's, it's committed to film. It's. I think it's November fifth, two thousand fifteen. I thought it was October twenty sixth. I thought it was October twenty sixth. Maybe, maybe it is the sixth. It's two thousand fifteen. What the hell is today? Either way, it's twenty fifteen. It's twenty fifteen for sure. Hold on, I'm so today, confused. Today's Cinco de Mayo. Hashtag Obama, Eric, King of America. Cinco to drink. Of. So he <laughs> left on Cinco de Mayo. The guy's the twenty first. It doesn't matter. Hey, yeah. um, thank you, thank yeah. you guys. That was a good discussion. 